Where's he are? You're up. I've been a carpenter. I've been a corporate services manager. But my most rewarding career, my most rewarding step that I've taken in my life, I think, is this one, working as a spiritual medium. And there was a gentleman in the spirit world that just kept on showing me that he had some sort of connection to birds or fowls. So I feel like I want to say it was either chickens or he had uh, pigeons. I have to say the first thing that I was getting was um, I fell in frustration around a garage door or some sort of entry point into a, a house or a, a garage. I was seeing like this thing sort of jamming a little bit. I'm also seeing a, a, a connection to a little bit of a celebration around this person. They're also talking to me about a little bit of animosity that actually happened there. So a couple of people that were not quite getting on and this makes it a little bit difficult to get people together. Oh, I also just want to warn you a little bit about the wheels of the tyres around your car as well too. So they need a little bit of attention. So car tyres need attention, garage door needs attention. I'm here to help. FGO at your service. Um, do you want to have a try and... Uh, um, at a person I or? felt like I was over in this direction, I have to say. Male or female, the item? Um, I felt that it was to do with female. Okay. I thought it was a female connection, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, what have you got? I have a set of car keys that have a little duvalaki on it. Blue, a blue keychain, and it belongs to that oh, lady there. Not a lady, not a lady. <laughs> Our garage door at home was broken for years now, and it hasn't been fixed. It needs to get fixed. What about chickens? Um, my dad... Um, that was Etio de Angelis giving my friend Donald a reading and analysing his object. OK, first things first. Now, that's a very ambiguous opening. A person in the spirit world is saying that he has a connection to birds or fowl or chickens or pigeons or whatever. That's very, very ambiguous. Are we talking about the spirit itself or who are we talking about? A person doesn't say. At the end of the day, we've all got connections to birds, haven't we? Have you seen a pigeon? I know I have. Have you eaten chicken? I know I have. Again, it says everything, but also says nothing. A very broad and bland statement. And as it happened, my friend Dormal said that his father used to hunt pheasants. Now, the word pheasant was never mentioned. Pigeons were, chickens were, but not pheasants. The first thing that I was getting was um, I fell in frustration around a garage door or some sort of entry point into a, a house or a, a garage. I was seeing like this thing sort of jamming a little bit. Now, Elio says he's feeling some frustration about a garage door or some entry point. Now, how many of us who have garage doors have not at some point felt some frustration? Well, for the record, Dornall says there's always been a problem with the garage door. He's talking about his family's garage door. He himself does not have a garage door. But we're not told it's a problem, we're talking about a frustration. It could mean one of any number of things. Also, as you would have seen, Etier assumes he's holding some car keys. Well, car keys, door, the person owns a car, the person might well have a garage. The person might well have had a problem with the garage door. Again, a statement that tells us a lot, but tells us very little at the same time and is very broad and generalised. I'm also seeing a, a, a connection to a little bit of a celebration around this person. OK, so Edio says he's getting a feeling of a celebration around this person. Hmm, Easter, Christmas, my birthday, other people's birthdays, weddings, funerals. Oh, I did say celebrations. Well, you never know these days. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure there's been many, many celebrations around this person and celebrations they've been involved with. Again, a very broad and generalised statement. Something that could be relevant to my life just as much as my friends. About a little bit of animosity that actually happened there. So a couple of people that were not quite getting on and this makes it a little bit difficult to get people together. Oh, I also he gets a feeling of people maybe not getting on. Well, how many of us, once again, no people in our family and amongst our friends who do not get on. When Donald reacts to the reading, he says he's expecting a wedding coming up. Well, <laughs> yes, people may not get on, or they may. But Elio hasn't said it's something about the future necessarily. So again, a very broad and generalised statement, nothing specific at all. Again, if you look at the clip, Elio is talking in the past tense. 
So this animosity has already happened. Dormal talks about a wedding that's coming up. Elio is talking about something that has already happened. Not the same thing. Oh, I also just want to warn you a little bit about the wheels of the tyres around your car as well too. So they need a little bit of attention. So car tyres need attention, garage door needs attention. Oh yes, of course, I forgot. Apparently the tyres around his car need attention, as does the garage door. Well, of course, he doesn't own a car, and he doesn't own a garage. A complete miss there. Pretty way out, I'm afraid. Do you want to have a try and... Uh, um... At a person, I or? felt like I was over in this direction, I have to say. Male or female, the item? Um, I felt that it was to do with female. Okay. I thought it was a female connection, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, what have you got? I have a set of car keys that have a little duvalaki on it. Blue, a blue keychain, and it belongs to that oh, lady there. Not a lady, not a lady. <laughs> ah, okay. Way off target there, need I say much more? A woman? And no. I mean, I know Donald quite well, but I think he's told me most things. Secondly, ATO can't even tell us what the keys are. They're not car keys. They're a front door key. Donal has no car, and he has no garage, but he does have a front door, and those are a set of front door keys. So somebody who claims to be in the psychic world, sadly does not even know what the set of keys are for. It's a reading for his way out. As for Donald saying it was accurate, well, and that he was impressed, having looked at it, Perhaps he was just playing along a little bit and it was very well edited too.